The goal of this project is to explain how a Hemholtz resonator works by building an adjustable apparatus that could demonstrate its characteristics. A Hemholtz resonator is a simple harmonic oscillator made out of air. The one we created resembles the shape of a bottle, meaning it has a narrow neck connected to a large body. The air in the neck is the mass and the air in the main body refers to the spring. As you can see, we are able to connect three different volume bodies with three different neck masses. Once we have built the apparatus, we simply blow across the opening. You might have tried this before with a bottle and heard a sound be produced. To visually explain how this works, the bottle can be related to a mass hanging from a spring. Imagine you are holding the bottle resonator upside down. The body is the spring and the neck is the weight hanging free and still on the spring. By blowing across the opening of the neck, we move the air in the neck which compresses the air inside the body. This is like pulling down on that weight and releasing. Naturally, because the weight is attached to a spring, it is going to come back up but further than it was originally resting. It will then go back down further than its resting position and will continue causing a periodic wave, eventually restoring back to its equilibrium. The spring will stretch out as the weight falls and compress as it rises. The air inside the body is also compressed and stretched in the same fashion when the air in the neck moves up and down. With the right frequency, the oscillator will resonate. The frequency is dependent on the volume and mass. With each mass and volume setup, we are amplifying the frequency for that particular combination to resonate at. In a similar way, the same concept happens when you strum a guitar. The body of a guitar contains air, and when the guitar is strummed, the vibrations force the air inside the body to also vibrate. The body will resonate at many frequencies and in turn amplify the harmonics. Without the body, there is no amplification. When the volume is increased or the body is made larger, the frequency will decrease, thus producing a lower sound. When the mass is increased or the length of the neck is longer, we again decrease the frequency. Vice versa is true for each. We used Raven software, a sound analyzer, to record and find the frequency for each of the nine body and neck combinations. Three trials were done for each, but they produced the same frequency, so we eliminated them from the data table to clear up the clutter. As you can see, we wore a headset mic while blowing over the opening to record the sound on Raven. Using the spectrum plot, we enhanced the image to show greater detail, revealing the frequency. It is no surprise that two of the combinations show very similar frequencies. This equation can also be used to find the frequency where k equals the spring, which is the 1 over the volume, and m equals the mass.